Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to build on this loop into an arrangement and have a look at the syncing to project tempo. So I've gone from session view, I've taken the clips, pulled them into arrangement view, dragged them out and I've changed this section here red just to let me know that this is where the breakdown is going to be. I've then added a very basic bit of automation on this breakdown just to make it sound more like a breakdown. So just to show you this. So now what we'll do is we'll go about adding a vocal. So I'll go Command Shift and T, open the ADSR Sample Manager, and we'll search for vocals under tags, and we'll just listen to some of these. Yo, check this out. Get, 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 get. House music. There we go. So it's this a spiritual thing. This one sounds quite nice. Once again, we can change the sample start point. House. See there, we're getting this bit of silence, so let's move this to there. House music. And what we can do, if we leave this in loop mode and sync it to the DAW, what we can do is we can write in a clip. So we'll just House. make it legato. And now with that set, as it was, which was with sync to DAW on, no matter what we do with the tempo, even if we were to automate it, it will still stay in time. So to demonstrate this. House music is a spiritual thing. 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 House music. So what we can now do is we could also take that off as well and you'll see how it sounds without it off. It's going to come straight out of time. House music. It's a spiritual thing. House music. It's a spiritual thing. And this is not what we want. So we'll put it back to 125. I'm going to sync it to the DAW. But I'm actually going to chop this up a little bit because I only really want this first bit that says house. So now that it's in stop mode, all I house. can do is just put in my note. House. House music. House me. House. 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 Just turn that down slightly. Maybe add a bit of rim reverb. House. House. And we could actually get this to work house. as a bit of a call and response pattern. So if I just change the grid quantization. House, house, house. House music. House music. Ha house music. House music. House music. We could then add a snare just to increase the tension on the build a little bit more. So I'll just duplicate this track. We'll get rid of all of these MIDI clips. We'll create a new one here. And we'll just change the sample to a snare. And then we could use the random if we wanted to as well. And we already know that we're still in stop mode, so all we have to do is just program a simple snare beat, which would look something like this. Let's give these ones a tiny bit of groove, and we'll maybe take these down slightly. See how that sounds. Duplicate this, and then we can just stretch this out. And what we'll do is we'll take it away for the last four 
beats and then it sounds quite loud still so I'll just take that down a bit more. I'll just fast forward this bit but all I'm going to do is add a quick bit of filter automation on the snare and then we'll just see how that sounds in context of the mix. House music. House. House music. House. House music. House. House music. House. So that's the end of this video where we've got the vocal and the snare build in place and what we'll do in the next few videos is we'll look at how we can integrate this with other services such as Splice, Noise and Loop Cloud.